Murphy's Law of Irrigation states that your system will fail on a 40 degree plus day that just turns out to be a public holiday. Well, my lawn has suffered from just such a failure and this scald, this terrible scald in the lawn is the result. My mission is to get it green again in a hurry. So I'm going to overseed it. Here's the process. Yesterday, I mowed the lawn low. Now I'll stir up the dead area with a steel rake and try to pull as much dead matter out as I can. I'm applying a specific conditioner, Scott's Lawn Builder Lawn Starter. It's boosted with iron, sulphur and calcium to promote deeper green growth and strong roots. This includes a slow-release fertiliser that continuously feeds your establishing lawn for three months. Scott's have got three different blends of lawn seed, all suitable for warm climates, and they go by the name of Awesome, Tough and Relaxed. The Awesome mix, once established, is a lush green lawn with soft blades and a deep spreading root system that gives you beautiful thick cover. The tough mix requires less watering and is drought tolerant, making it perfect for pets and backyard activities. It establishes a strong, tough and resilient lawn. The relaxed custom seeds require less time mowing, watering and feeding, so you can spend more time relaxing. So I'm looking for awesome results. That's why I'm going to use this particular seed. Now it's worth mentioning that these seeds are coated and that coating helps to improve water retention and it also contains a deterrent for birds and ants. While I'm using the pull-out pourer to spread seeds over this small area, if your project's more ambitious, in other words, larger, then use the famous Scott's Spreader. So the last job is to water in the seeds. Now I like to give it a real good soak with a hose. That should get it going. Now, of course, uh, I'm not in the least impatient, but I have got the timer on.